The brief we had was to create a title sequence for the BBC Christmas Lectures. This year it was on Forensic Anthropology. Now this is quite a dark subject for school aged children um, in order to make it less, almost less realistic and more um, sort of detached and less dark. Um, we made plaster casts of um, skulls and various sort of different types of bones. Um, we ended up wanting to make these bones come back together after being smashed, um, as that's sort of what and forensic anthropologists do, they create a human out of the remains. Um, we had to make a lot of skulls out of plaster and it was very tricky because we needed them to be pretty fragile for them to smash once dropped on the floor. Um, so we would pour the plaster into a mold but once taken out it was, it turned out to be so fragile that sometimes it would break into your hands. We made plaster bones and skulls that we dropped using a wide angle camera and it was a bit tricky, so we had to take it over and over again. Three, two, one, action. So to achieve the, the effect we got with our cloud tags, uh, we experimented in many different ways to get to the final result. We tried at first was to get Detto, um, to get that real cotton candy um, cloud look that would move in a stop in a slow in slow motion almost without being in slow motion if that makes sense. And then when we discovered that we liked the look of that, we kind of started exploring with the colours just to kind of make the visuals kind of a bit more interesting. So for example, we use inks, and um, you know we use various colours of ink. I had to create the missing poster. And uh, we thought it would be funny if we took the tutor that was leaving, retiring, and then we put him on the missing poster as if we'd never see him again. We just simply put a piece of paper over the screen and as we took it away further from the screen it created this hazy, unfocused effect. Okay, we put together a series of shots in a demo film called an animatic and we sent that over to the production company, the clients, to get feedback. We discovered the end cap of a curtain rail looked a lot like a bullet. We used a pipe to help aim it at one of our plaster bones. We all learned a lot of new skills from this project and it was really fun to finally see it on the telly. Join us as we try to piece together the evidence to solve a murder mystery when the body is missing.